Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I'm here um, today because this is just scratch paper. Because I'm gonna go ahead and give a, a get, try out, um, make me my, make making me making my own version of these um, <laughs> these embellishments from Studio Calico. So I was totally inspired by it. I showed you guys in a haul video um, from a yard sale, craft yard sale the stamp set that I got to kind of give this a try. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. I figured I'd film it. Why not? Kicks and giggles. Um, you know, we all want to try different things. And maybe that'll encourage you guys to, to just go ahead and try something. I mean, why not? If anything, if it doesn't work out, I'll just de-stash all the inks and the stamps and, you know, somebody, whatever. But if I like it, I'll just stamp a whole bunch of it. And um, so, yeah, the stamps that I got do not are not identical to this. And the one I got doesn't have an orange, but it has a peach. So I think that's super cute. Um... And I think it has a lemon, so I think it'd be super cool for trying one of those, you know, when life gives you lemon kind of cards or something. So, um, I have, let me just show you what I got, what I have. This is a package of acetate. Now, you'll see it's kind of different color. Sorry for the glare. I have my um, scraps of vellum in here as well. Um, but it's acetate that I got, and they're actually, I got it from, like, Office Depot or Office Max. And it is... Um, it is a transparencies. You don't ask me, you know, don't ask them for acetate, ask them for transparencies or um, the, the clear sheets. Uh, there's some that you can print on. Um, these you can print on. And there's some that uh, they're just thicker and stuff like that. I like these. It's a nice texture. I mean, a nice weight to it. Now, when I ever do use this and I have little strips left over, as you can see right here, um, I save these little strips in this little, this bag. I actually got this like five or six years ago. Um, I still have tons of it, and I actually split half of it because it wasn't cheap, so I split it with my friend. But anyway, I keep these little strips because these are the little strips that I use when I make, um, in my cards, and I make them bounce and stuff like that, and I give them, you know, the, instead of using those wacky wobblers, this, these are the little strips that I get. So, truly, it's expensive, but you don't waste any of it. Maybe get together with some of your friends and just div divvy up the cost. I'm going to start with, these are actually pieces, as you can see right here. These are actually pieces that I have left over from different projects. And, of course, I keep that in there. I got to get a bag, uh, a Ziploc bag to put those in. So, anyway, I got this stamp set at a garage sale. Now, you don't. the reason I was okay to try this, it was because I got this at a garage sale for, like, I think it was, like, five bucks or eight bucks. I don't know. But it has tens of stamps, and I like how the leaves are separate. So, there's grapes, strawberries, watermelon. I had to clean them off because they were filthy. And, um... I was about to start the video, and I'm like, oh, man, there's, like, dirt and glitter and whatever. So, anyway, but I like how it has the leaf separate, so I can use the different colors on them. Or, if anything, I'll stamp them separate, cut them out, and um, and layer it. I think that would be super cool. So, okay, so put that aside. Now, these are the inks, and, of course, because you're using acetate, you, got, you have to use um, stays on ink. I'm pretty sure there's another ink you can use. I don't know about it. I'm not worried about it. I already had half of these, and I just went and got these. Um, I got most of them at Hobby Lobby. Um, and of course I took Nathan because I needed somebody else to use a coupon. Um, whenever I take him, they know that basically he, we're buying the same thing, but I need an extra one. So I got, um, like I said, some of these I already had, but I went and got, let me see, I went and got these. I went and got Sunflower Yellow, Pumpkin, and Cactus Green. Now, um, these are the brighter colors, and since they're going to be on acetate, they're going to look even lighter. Especially depending on what you're going to put behind it or what you're going to put, um, yeah, behind it or where you're going to put it on top of. Now, the reason I don't have this because I hate yellow. I don't really care to craft with yellow. I don't know why. It's just me, I guess. I don't know. I got teal blue, royal purple. Like, this is the darkest one I have. And blazing red. So, I just have everything off to the side. Here, I'll just show you guys. Everything off to the side of my desk. The stamps, the inks and stuff. So, I don't have to, like keep reaching over and stuff so we'll go ahead and we're going to start with something oh and i'm also going to use either this sharpie which it has two edges to draw the line let me bring the picture back to kind of give it that little and the cool thing about this is if that little line see how it's offset like it, it i think that gives it even more of a cool like off printed kind of situation where you can totally do that. So I'm either going to use that Sharpie or I'm also going to use my Copic multi liners, which I should have grabbed, but I obviously did not. Hence why I'm like almost screaming across the room to go with my Copics. And I have these, I bought these in a set. Um, I think I got those at Hobby Lobby too, because Hobby Lobby does have Copics and stuff like that. 
but I also get, uh, now I get all of my Copic stuff from Terry at, uh, Stamps Alive. So, it has the different sizes. I'm gonna see which one works. Um, I pr I want to go with the thickest one. I'll probably want to go with the thickest one, which I'm probably just gonna go with that one. All right. <clears throat> this video might be clipping in and out because I'm dealing with my throat is just like killing me. So, um, I know you can barely see the, the hopefully the glare. For once, we were gonna want the glare on there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with. And the, um, the stays on always have these little seal. When I first bought my stays on, I, I used black. I didn't know anything about that. I just knew that stays on would go on plastic and f fabric and stuff like that. Um, I threw it out. And then, like, a, a few weeks later, when my stays on was dry, I was like really pissed. And someone's like, no, dude, you're supposed to do this with it. I'm like, oh, well, nobody told me. So, um, you want to make sure you get your stamp. And I have stays on ink remover. I don't know where it is. It's probably by the sink in the guest bathroom where I clean off my stamps. And as always, you want to, um, I always stamp once to see what pressure you need, what's harder, you know, if I'm pressing too hard. Because here's the thing, when you stamp on acetate, it can slide, it can glide. So it's important to make sure you stamp down, hold it. You have to hold it because just a second, try not to move because, um, it's an ink that takes a minute to dry. And also don't touch it right away. Make sure you give it a moment to dry. So I just go ahead, hold it down. Um, I just hold it down for a second because it's acetate. Oop, I totally made a boo-boo. Um, see, look, right there you could tell where it kind of picked up. So we're going to go ahead and try it again. See? We're all learning as we go. So I just ink it a few times. We're going to try it this way now. Just give it a sec for it to collect. Okay. So as you can see, let me grab a piece of paper where you can see it better. Scratch paper here. See how it puddles up in certain sections? I don't freaking mind because this is kind of what you're going to a little offset situation. And it has like the little rind or like the little dents and stuff like that for the rind. Or I know that if I sat here and I played with it, I could figure out even more. But I'm not going to do that. We're just going to stamp a few more because I want... My point is I want to have several of them and now we're just going to try different we're going to hold it down i want to have several of them so i can just put them away I, I these kind of projects i like to do make a bunch see here i didn't press very hard and you can see what happened that one's no good for me so since it's okay with this whole offset situation i'm just going to go ahead and stamp try to stamp you i, I don't have a thingamajig or whatever I'm not worried about that. And this one's already messed up, so if I mess it up even more, I don't mind. See, that's crazy. But I'm still going to use it. Um, and I'm spacing them well because I still have to draw that little line around it. And you want to make sure you let it... Um, you let it... You let it dry. You can dry with the... Um, with your heat tool. The only problem is the acetate will curl and bubble. See, look. And I actually am like... Normally, I'm a little bit finicky... But I want everything to be perfect, and they look different. And FYI, all fruits and plants look very different. So I'm going to make the lemons and put that aside and then go on to a different fruit. Hopefully, see, that one's a little bit way too much off. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again. I just kind of lean to the side over here, to see, and I moved it. If you guys can see, I moved the, um, the stamp, but it still works. It's still going to go on. Um, the first one's not even dry. So before we even do that line, we're going to go ahead and let it dry. Make sure you press it down and not move it, um, not move it around because it will slide because of the liquid. Um, so yeah, so that is my first attempt. Actually, I think the last one came out the best. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use all of them. So don't touch the ink. Put that aside. Um, you can go ahead and clean off, try to clean off your, uh, your, your stamp with a baby wipe. Now, some of the ink does come off. The initial ink comes off, but it stays on, and there's still ink in there. It doesn't really damage your stamps. I have the ink, uh, stays on ink remover, um, and I will just clean them off. I just wait till I'm done with my project, if I'm using stays on, and then I'll go clean it off. It's important to, you get the, um, like on the stamp, you get the little, it's like a little bottle with a little foam thing. You press on there, and you scrub. You scrub. I scrub in little circles. Give it a few seconds, and then I run it under uh, warm water. So, okay, so those were the, that was the lemon. Let me grab another piece of the scratch, um, 
acetate. Let's go ahead and do, I'm trying to see what will fit in this little paper. Um, we'll go ahead and do something else. Okay. I'm very curious to see the green. I've never stamped with a green. So I'm going to go ahead and try the pear. And let me grab a darker green as well. I have a darker green. What is it? For the leaf um, of the pear. I'm going to try this one. This one's the olive green. Um, not the biggest fan of the pear, but that's, you know, hey, I have it. Let's, let's do something with it, y'all. Okay, I'm trying to... And I'm apologizing right now. If this video does take so long, I just totally dropped that. Because this is um, highly experimental. This is... And just to show you, you know, this is when I get ideas or I want to try something. So we're going to ink it. See how it comes out. Um, see how it works out and stuff like that. So if I'm babbling too much, I apologize. Maybe I'm just trying to feel like fill in information or time. Okay, that is not cute. Let me see if I can... Mm, that's not really going to work for me, is it? <laughs> Let's see. Let me try. And if anything, this is scratch, oh, scratch uh, acetate if I end up wasting acetate. So yeah, this is all very experimental. If anything, I might just actually stamp it also on, um, boop, 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 on, um, on paper and then just print it, I cut it out. So that's not very much of what I wanted. Maybe it's because of the color and how it puddles. Um, I'm going to clean it off and try just a few. Let me see. Normally I, I, uh, I, uh, ink it like several times and maybe because of the lemon it came out you know what i'm still going to use those it is what it is uh because i already stamped so many of them if anything uh, i have that uh homemade lick to it uh let's see let's see Let me wipe some of this off and then we will um go ahead and with the darker green um, we're going to do one of the leaves that is in this little, I have two leaves, but I think that one's for the peach. There we go. Hmm, I'm kind of liking where this situation, this thing's going. Um, and it could be also, you guys, it could be that it's a fresh ink pad. And these are all just, the green one is just barely open. Whereas you can see the the, uh, the darker green, it's more, um, it's kind of uh, not as splotchy. I'm liking that more than I thought. And I think there's a, is there a little stem here somewhere? No. Okay. So I kind of like that. I like it better now. The pear, um, I think with the leaf on it. It um it gives a little bit more character. I'm still gonna use them. I don't care. Um, I'll just put and I'm putting these stamps to the side so I know which ones I have to clean off. Let's go ahead and now since I'm more curious now about my inks, my my newer inks, let's try the peach one. Now I have orange. Um, and if you guys notice, I didn't stamp off on this one just to kind of see how it looks. It's a little orange. It's a little brighter than I want it to be. So let me see if I... Hmm, maybe I'll do that. Stamp off softly. This is when I stamp off hard and then stamp again. Do the second generation stamp. So we'll see. If I stamped off lightly once... I freaking like that. Okay, and look, this is what I mean is uh, it's it's going to be lighter when you, um, because it's acetate, when you put it on something. Now, this is how it looks. When you put it on white paper with the backing, it has a much stronger um, color. So let us go ahead and try one more. Let me see here. 
I'm trying to get my technique down. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp one straight on just to see what it looks like. Mm, yeah, it's too, it's too inky. Let me see if I can wonder if I can wipe it off. Ooh. Kind of like that. I mean, it's a little blotchy, but... That one might be a little bit too far off the page. I think it looks better when I stamp off once because the initial pools of ink, yeah. The initial pools of ink actually um, come off on the paper and you get a better um, image because of the little blots of ink. I wonder if that would have helped with the pair. The point is the pair is done. We're gonna go on to the next one. Um, Hmm. I like that too. I like it. I'm trying to figure this out. Um, this, like I said, this is serious. This is a serious experiment. So that one, I lifted it up and then I put it down. Oh my God, that's perfect. Sweet baby Jesus, I got it. Okay, so I'm going to stamp off once, stamp it, lift it up, and then stamp it again because it helps with the, po with the poodles, with the puddles of ink. So I'm looking at my thing and it's already 16 minutes. But anyway, let's go ahead and now try a, because I have enough peaches. Try to add a leaf and this leaf is bigger. Um, I think I'm actually going to try, because I'm curious, try the... Um, the the green ink see look how different it looks on paper and it does not acetate okay since this one I kind of boo booed up I'm going to go ahead and mm, it doesn't really show so we're going to go ahead and go for the olive green see because that's much darker but since it's much darker, will it show up better? Yes, it will. So we're going to stamp off once on the, um, on the paper and then stamp it on the, um, the acetate. And if anything, you guys might just think I'm freaking nuts and that's okay. <laughs> Because I am a little bit crazy. See, that one I stamped directly onto it. I just realized I didn't stamp it off. And it looks a little bit dark, if you ask me. That works for me. But look how light it looks when you pick it up. If anything, I can go back and refine my technique. Um, let me flip this over so I don't touch any of the inks. I could refine my technique now that I know like how my inks are going to react. I can you know stamp down once um i'm actually curious to do oops to do some strawberries so we're gonna do strawberries i'm gonna use the blazing red ink okay yep let's see okay let's see what it'll look like straight on into the um the acetate Ooh. I, I press it so hard and little seeds aren't very defined. So we're going to stamp off once. Stamp it lightly. Still not working for me. So you know what I'll do? Put that aside. Do the strawberries on this little itty bitty patch right here. I like that. And I think that's what I'm going to do. going to stamp off and then... Press well on that. See, we're learning and we're going. The second one is way better. Now, my strawberries do look a little bit uh, fuchsia, so it's a good thing I didn't buy the fuchsia ink. But I'm liking where it's going. Okay. So that is that. So that's the blazing red. 
on acetate, it looks blazing fuchsia. I'm gonna put that aside. Now the top of the strawberry is this right here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the olive ink since we saw that the uh, that the cactus green wasn't having it. And not to mention the fact that my strawberries are a little um, fuchsia. And you have to be careful not to let it slide, especially because there's already ink on there and the top of that strawberry was a little bit high. And that one I stamped directly on there with the set. But I have them, I have different ones. They're very unique. We're gonna call them special and unique. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and take this piece of scratch paper. All of these scratch papers are just pieces that I might have left over from printing or whatnot. Um, so yeah. So now I'm gonna try the cherries. And I'm kind of disappointed that they're going to be kind of fuchsia, but we're going to roll with it. Because over there they paint red. Let's, I wonder what, how that will look like. I think we already did. Ooh. I have to leave enough space for the, um, no, those aren't going to work. For the, um, for the stems. <sighs> Let's see. If anything, my video is already going into 20 minutes, so who knows. I'm going to cut it off off here. Um, and then do um do a uh, quick clip on how it looks with the um now i'm just eyeballing this because i have no idea love it and no i'm not just saying that because i made it I'm saying it because I actually like the way they're coming out. And like I said, they, um, even though they're not perfectly stamped, oh, poops, I'll figure that out. Um, even though they're not per perfectly stamped, uh, we're going for kind of like that offset thing anyway. So imperfect perfection is what we're going for. So let me pause the video here and I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to go back to the lemons to start, uh, coloring them. Actually, let me see. I can, you can always look to the side to see if the, um, the ink is dry and it is not so I'm gonna let them dry and come back so I kind of helped the lemons along to, I just kind of sat there and blew on the lemons to get them to dry and I tried both my Copic multiliner and my sharpie and the Copic multiliner smudged and the sharpie worked so that's what we're going to do so now at this point we're just going to okay so maybe now my my uh sharpie doesn't want to play along um I'm just going to go along trace that is a horrible lemon and the sad thing is I'm actually tracing since your um, sharpie will slide because it's on acetate um, you got to kind of do smooth lines Take your time. Obviously, I'm gonna have to practice with this because my lemons look like crap. Um, let me see. And I'm trying to keep it as one solid line, but I might have to do it in two. <clears throat> so that's my sad little attempt. that might be a better choice so we're going to go ahead and sometimes you have to move it around to figure it out okay 
that one actually came out better. So I've learned that it helps if I, well, that one went out totally wrong. I can still use this and just cover up one side. So there's that <clears throat> horrible example. Um, let me see, the strawberries are dry. So we can, am I recording? Yeah, okay. I'm practicing here. Just kind of go around a few of the strawberries and play along with the stem. So, you know. I'm figuring out that it's just easier just to have fun with it. Just go along with it. I'm, if I'm not so tense, I get um, much easier, uh, smoother lines than if I'm really tense with it. So here we are on the last one, last strawberry. And cutting it's even going to be easier because you just kind of cut haphazardly. Well, that, that wasn't helpful. But see, there's a little close-up of the strawberries. I like, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm accepting it that they're not going to be perfect like the ones on, um, on the From Studio Calico. So let me go ahead and help these dry along and then we'll do that. Okay, so we dried this a little bit. Let's go ahead. Oop, that's the wrong end. <laughs> And try it now with the um, the pears. And like I said, I've oops. if you just have fun with it, you get a better um, you get a better line, and just enjoy it. My pear is wonky. I don't know why those squiggly lines are there. I just figured I'd give it a whirl. I figured I already, I might have already ruined it anyway. And if you go off the picture, that is what we're going for. So it's just better to make sure that it's completely done, completely dried, and that way you can Move it around and continue your lines. And if you mess up on the line, cover it with something on when you're done when you're doing your project. Um, so yeah, I just I'm really glad I actually tried it um, because I had that picture in my um, in my iPad for a while. Like you know, I really like that. I want to try it. I want to. Um, I thought about actually ordering the kit, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to use that whole kit. I might as well figure out. I was actually going to go on eBay, see if maybe somebody, uh, was trying to get rid of that kit, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. I did this, um, and I keep going off on the paper to, to make sure the ink is flowing because with, uh, um, with the uh acetate it um it kind of like stops it or whatever so yeah you can see as i go along i'm just getting freer with my um with my lines and just going with it make sure you add the accent there of the um and seeing right here i went off the page i'm just gonna cut it and you know who's none the wiser um, make sure you have that section there to show that it's a peach. Uh, in all honesty, you can make or make them oranges. You can make them into uh, oranges and no one is none the wiser. So 
So yes, I'm actually, like I said, I'm liking them more and more as, um, as I go. Um, I might not be sending these out as racks or anything like that. It might just be for my own enjoyment because someone's probably thinking, what in the name of the sweet baby Jesus have you done? You have totally just wasted ink acetate when I could have been making um, shaker cards but I absolutely love it it's a little different it's a little wonky and let me see now this one is going to be with the other ones I kind of had a reference I'm purposely just going way off the um, the design just to kind of give it a more whimsical whimsical look and <clears throat> feel to it because now I'm actually not being so retentive and just going along with it and the fact that I have to realize that they're not all going to be perfect just you know play with it go along with it you will enjoy it and appreciate it way more see like that was I'm, I'm starting to get them down to one stroke little shiny parts little shiny bits um this one I'm just gonna basically do the same thing as this one just cut it off short because it doesn't have to be perfect um and they're all like i said they're all coming out different so if you stuck around for this i really appreciate it um let me know what you guys think about my little experiment my process and um and yeah you know what what the heck we're gonna do this one too the one that i boo-booed up a little bit And it's art. Bam! It is art. Because trust me, I've seen some stuff that it's shouldn't be. <laughs> so yeah. So that is my experiment gone awry. I feel like um, a crafty version of Dr. Frankenstein minus you know the actual making something. Um, this is what they look like. And once you have them cut out, oh my goodness, they look way more adorable. And if you see, once you, if you layer them like on a project, I think whatever little imperfections you may not have liked, absolutely just add character to the, they're all bundled up because I, um, I picked up the paper that they're on so I could show you guys. But the ones that I thought would look, would look worse would be the lemons because <laughs> they were my first draw and they look so freaking cool. And look how they look when they're layered. Well, not so many of them, but when they're layered on to, uh, over each other. It adds character, even to the ones that are wonky and whatnot. Um, here, let me just pick some, pick them up individually so I can show you, like, the strawberries. This is how they came out. And then I just, you know, cut them just, you know, wonky and, and whatnot. But look at that. I absolutely love, and I love the additional, like, um, coloring that they get when you layer them. Let me show you a close-up of my cherries. So even the ones that didn't stamp out perfectly, now that they're drawn and they're, um, the, I mean, the the, the, the black uh, sketch around it is done, it actually adds way, way, way more character. And even the ugly pair that I didn't like looks pretty freaking cool, especially if you put like another one, maybe throw a different fruit. And since they're acetate, they're clear, it is really cool how um, you still see the image and the color kind of uh, blends in and makes a different color when it overlaps. It's just like, you know, coloring when you're a little kid in elementary school and stuff. But I absolutely love them, you guys. Um, all in all, see, look, and when they're like overlapping, it's like crazy. All in all, um, some of them I felt at the beginning it went awry. But now that they're done and they're cut out and I can use them on little projects and everything, I'm absolutely in love. 
So yeah, so there you go. Um, that's it. And thank you for sticking around. I'm so sorry this video is so long, but I kind of wanted to show you like the process of my crazy thought process of like what I'm going to do, how am I going to figure it out? How, and as you guys saw, as I stamped, like stamped on, stamped directly, it's like, it's a learning process. Whenever you do something new, don't ever be discouraged. Just go for it, try it. And trust me, I am so, so happy with my results. Um, going forward, when I make more, I will be better at it. I know kind of what to, to look forward to. So yeah, so there you go. Let me know what you guys think and go ahead and go out there and experiment and try new things, you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.